Okay guys, so I've got this MSI ITX B650 motherboard here. AM5 socket, I purchased it ready for the upcoming release of the Ryzen 9700X CPU. However, because only the last BIOS uh, update was actually compatible with those CPUs, I'm not sure exactly when this board was manufactured. It's going to be important to get it fully up to date with the latest BIOS file. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Now because I'm updating it for the compatibility with that CPU, I'm going to show you how you can do the update without having a CPU installed. In fact, all you're going to need is your motherboard and a power supply. Now just to confirm, this should work for most MSI motherboards, but just check your manual to make sure that yours is compatible. You will need to have a motherboard that has a BIOS flash switch on the IO panel. And I've just popped this out of the box to give you an example as to what that will look like. In fact, there's two switches on mine. This is the one we want though, the flash BIOS button. Don't worry if you don't have the CMOS button, as long as you have the flash BIOS button, that's what we're going to need. And also, whilst I'm showing you this up close, make sure you look for the USB type A port that is specifically um, labeled to update the BIOS. Okay, so in my case, it's this one here. It will have a border around it. You can use this USB port for anything else as well, of course, but this is the one you will need to use for updating the BIOS. The only other bit of hardware you need to complete this update is a USB stick. Now, it's important that we need to format this correctly, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I do have my thumbstick plugged in to my working computer. As you can see here, it is this drive that's now shown up for me. Now, I've got this ready, but I'm going to show you how to do that. And first of all, if you've got any files or folders in here that you want to back up and save, make sure you do so, because we are going to be wiping it clean. And to do that, really easy, right click on it and select Format. Now, for the Format options, the one that's really important is the file system must be set to FAT32. Okay, these other options will cause the drive to not work for our purposes, so make sure FAT32, I'm going to select this to default as well. And then we can just select Start. As long as you have Quick Format selected, it will only take a moment or two. Now, there is another thing you need to be aware of, and for that, we need to open up a piece of software built into Windows called Disk, Part oh, sorry, Disk Management. So just start by typing in Disk into Search, and that should come up here as Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Open this software, and then find the drive that corresponds to your USB stick that is plugged in. In my case, it is disk three here. I can tell simply because of the uh, drive size here of 30 gigabytes and the fact it is FAT32, which is the format option we just selected. Now, what you need to do is right click on the gray box here, select properties, and then on the volumes tab, look at the partition style. It must say master boot record. If it doesn't say that, then the drive will not be compatible with your motherboard when trying to update the BIOS. This is something that MSI miss on their tutorials. Um, if I just give you an example here by right clicking on one of my other drives and select volumes, you can see this doesn't say master boot record. It has to say master boot record. Now for the vast majority of USB thumbsticks, it will and it will work fine. But just check this because a lot of the time when these drives aren't detected by the motherboard, this is the reason. And if yours does not say it has the master boot record partition, then you need to use another drive that does. And if you don't have another drive, it is possible to change the partition style to MBR, but that does require inputting commands in the command prompt. But I'm not going to be going into those depths today. Now we are going to download the BIOS file itself. And it is so important, I can't stress this enough, to make sure you are definitely downloading the BIOS file for your motherboard. Don't use a BIOS file for another motherboard, even if the name sounds similar. Okay, you could end up bricking your hardware. So for me, this is the motherboard, the B650i Edge Wi-Fi. And then what you want to do is head over to the support page for your motherboard. And on the MSI website here, the first tab will be for drivers and downloads. And here you can download the latest BIOS update. Now, the first one is usually a beta version, which I tend to skip because it could have bugs in it that MSI haven't yet fixed. And so I'd rather go for a stable release. 
Now, in my case, this BIOS here is the oldest BIOS that supports the Ryzen 9000 CPUs. So I don't know when my board was manufactured, but if it was manufactured before June of this year, then it will not have this update and it will not detect my CPU once I install it. So that's why I'm doing this update. So I'm going to go ahead and download the later version, the one that's just before the beta version. So this one right here. So let's go ahead and get this file. And all I'm going to do with the zip file here that I've just downloaded is extract it. And inside there will be two files, a text file and the BIOS file. Now, before we copy the BIOS file, we do need to rename it. Now, before you rename it, one thing I am going to suggest is if you just head to the view tab, make sure at the bottom here that file name extensions are shown. OK, because if they're not shown, you could end up in a world of hurt. So make sure show file name extensions is enabled. And all we're going to do is rename this file to MSI dot dot rom notice how everything is in all caps that's on purpose it needs to be in all caps and i'm going to copy or cut this over into our usb thumbstick right in the root directory there and that's all we need to do okay and so i can now right click and select eject here and there we have it the thumbstick there it is, is now ready to be plugged into the motherboard. So here I have my motherboard connected to my PSU, both the 12 volt connector here and also the CPU connector. Even though there's no CPU installed, the motherboard still needs this connected. Make sure the PSU itself is turned on, of course. You don't need it in your case. Mine just happens to be in the case and yeah, I'm too lazy to take it out. Also got my USB stick in the correct USB port. So now let's just tap the flash BIOS button here. So I've just turned the lights off. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's quite dim, but there's a little red LED that's just flashing there in the USB port. And that's just to inform us that the BIOS update is indeed taking place. Now it should only take a minute or two, but it can take up to 10 to 15 minutes. So whatever you do, don't do anything whilst that red LED continues to flash. Once it has finished flashing, the update is completed and you have the latest BIOS version. And it has actually stopped for me now. So I'm confident that the BIOS has been updated safely on this motherboard and is now ready for my Ryzen 9700X once AMD finally put those out to the public. So folks, hopefully this little tutorial has helped you and that it wasn't too painful. Thank you so much for stopping by checking out the video and I'll catch you in the next one.